Imagine that you have a garden. You can see some plants flourish while others struggle to grow. What are you going to do about these struggling plants? Are you going to uproot them, move them to better soil? Or are you going to bring nutrients and resources to their current locations? This dilemma translates directly to the problem that policymakers face as usually, whether to move people out of impoverished areas or to bring firms into these regions and hope that people can find better jobs. As an economist, I'm interested in studying these policies, and Vietnam provides the perfect context to study them. Because in the 2000s, the government passed two policies, one of which is the tax breaks for firms to move into rural areas, while the other is the migration policies that encouraged people to move out of rural areas and into urban areas. In my thesis, I aim to quantify the impacts of these policies on social welfare. Measuring welfare is very difficult because welfare contains two components, one of which is very difficult to measure. The relatively easy one is materials, for, such as income and profits that I could gather from Vietnamese data source, sources, including national surveys of more than 90 million people and surveys of firms that follow firms, more than 3 million firms over the past 20 years. However, welfare also contained the second component, which is references or non-material non ones. For example, many firms would like to be closer to other firms, such as the tech firms in Silicon Valley, because they can share knowledge. Unfortunately, we do not have good data to measure these references. To tackle this challenge, I built a new method to estimate references based on how strongly people and firms respond to policy changes. If we see a lot of firms move into rural areas after the tax breaks, then it's telling us that the firms do not really care about being closer to other firms in urban areas, and thus they have weaker references. My findings reveal that firms are more sensitive to policy changes than people are, especially manufacturing firms. This finding suggests that firms focus more on profits while people seem to be more attached to their locations. It is painful enough for each of us to deal with our own struggling plants in our gardens, but we should not avoid thinking about complicated policy choices that could mitigate the pains of millions of people worldwide. My research provides policymakers the essential tools to confront policy tensions and thus make better, well-informed policy choices to create a more thriving and balanced global society.